Ukraine finds Starlink alternative for targeting Crimea's waters with drones. Ukraine has found a satellite communication system that could serve as an alternative to Starlink. This is necessary for drone strikes in the waters of Crimea, according to the commander of the unmanned systems forces of the Ukrainian armed forces, Vadim Sukarevsky. This issue is being solved and a working group was created for dialogue. An alternative exists, dialogue is ongoing and in the near future we expect a positive outcome in this dialogue. Sukarevsky stated, Ukrainian defenders use tens of thousands of Starlink terminals, actively employing them in the war against Russian forces. Such satellite communication systems help Ukrainian soldiers to attack Russian forces using drones. However, in September 2023, CNN reported that Elon Musk supposedly secretly instructed his engineers to disable the Starlink network near the coast of temporarily occupied Crimea, fearing that Ukrainians would use his satellite communication system to attack the Russian fleet. Musk himself denied this information, claiming that the network near the Ukrainian peninsula was not operational before. Russian troops in Ukraine are using thousands of Starlink satellite communications terminals made by Elon Musk's SpaceX, the Ukrainian military intelligence chief told the Wall Street Journal earlier. SpaceX's Starlink terminals enabled Ukrainian forces to communicate with each other and with their families after Russia's 2022 invasion had shut down Ukraine's internet and telephone services. But the Wall Street Journal reported in April that thousands of Starlink terminals have migrated to the black market, where Russia has obtained them and is using them to aid its operations in Ukraine. Russia's use of the system has reportedly slowed and disrupted the service for Ukrainians. Other US foes and war criminals in the Mideast, Africa and Southeast Asia have also obtained the terminals according to the report. Russia's tanks in Ukraine may suddenly run out. Warnings are issued in this regard. American shells and ammunition are useful on the battlefield, but so far the weapons provided to Ukraine by Western countries have not had a decisive effect on the battlefield. This is written by the New York Times. Biden's decision made the main difference not on the battlefield, but among all the other countries that followed his example. Ben Barry, a senior fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, told the New York Times. Analysts say that the influx of Western aid has made it easier for Ukraine to defend its positions, but has not yet had a decisive effect. Since Russia retains a significant advantage in manpower and firepower, the New York Times interlocutors suggested that Russia will continue offensive actions for most of 2024. But at some point, it may face a shortage of tanks and armored vehicles. We have seen a really significant number of tanks and armored vehicles fighting on the Avdiivka front since October. And this rate of losses is probably not sustainable in the long term, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow in the Eurasia program at the Foreign Policy Institute. He also specified that Russian troops have not taken advantage of the Kharkiv offensive, although they have managed to force Ukraine to withdraw some forces from the Donbass. Ukrainian Lieutenant Denis Yaroslavsky noted that Ukrainian artillery brigades can now shell Russian troops more often. The Russian offensive has largely stopped, but south of Kharkiv in the Donbass, Russia has resumed attacks on Ukrainian positions, the article says. According to reports from soldiers on the front, military reports and satellite maps of the battlefield compiled by independent monitoring groups, the front line has not moved significantly in more than two weeks despite intense and bloody fighting. Russia is now forced to rely on aerial bombs and longer-range missiles, which are more expensive than artillery shells, the analysts explained. According to Ukrainian commanders, Russian forces advanced about six miles into Ukraine before becoming bogged down by more heavily fortified Ukrainian positions. The commanders also said more Ukrainian troops had arrived to contain the Russian advance and that more American ammunition was being delivered to the front lines. Lieutenant Yaroslavsky said Ukraine could hold its current positions by disrupting Russian logistics nearby by striking inside Russia. Позиція.
2024 року. Ракета пішла за ціллю. Горить! Сука, горить, сука! Другий. Позиція 2024 року. Ракета пішла за ціллю. Горить! Сука, горить!